bought this little servo tester. This is one of the few that actually has a display that shows the pulse width. Most do not. Um, and you have to power with between 4.8 and 6 volts, which I've come to learn is the kind of the universal standard uh, for servos, which I bought. All right, so voltage regulator's on. This is on, and this is giving. There we go. Okay, we're we'll getting a little more light here. So this puts out between 800 and 2200 uh, microsecond pulses, which is pretty much the range of, as I understand it, of servos. I mean, how cool is that? And this will power up to seven, up to four uh, servos at once if I ever need to. And it's got some cool functions here, like it's got a function that will fix it to center. Apparently, 1500 microseconds is servo center, so that's center. And it's got another mode here where you can set it to sweep test. Cool. And um, you can change the pulse width. I, I don't understand. I don't think I've done that. I don't know what the purpose. Oh, I know what that is. That's not the pulse width. See that? That's the frequency. So it's 50 hertz, 125, and 150. So 50 hertz is the standard, apparently, which is what it's set to by default. But you can set it as high as 250 hertz. Here's 50 hertz, 125 hertz, 250 hertz. But at 250 hertz, I didn't, I don't, I mean, this receiver, it gets a little jittery because it's not used to that high of a, of a frequency. The standard is 50 hertz. Apparently some newer receivers and servos can use higher rates up to, what did I say, 250 hertz. Um, and there are even some high voltage servos, I understand, that work with high voltage receivers that go higher than six volts but this these are the standards so anyway that's it for the short video